Hello, good evening. We are going to learn today the sound chapter from grade 9th CBSE. About me, I am S. V. Raman. I completed MSc in Physics and B.A. I am the member of Indian Association of Physics Teachers, IAPT, and the Indian Physics Association and the member of Royal Society of Chemistry. In this chapter, sound, we know in general life, every day, we are observing different kinds of sounds. While wake up, alarm sound. While going to kitchen room, there is a pressure cooker. It is giving a different sound. Car horns, while going to school. And many type of musics, TV, radio and aeroplane. So, ocean waves, some kind of sound. And while speaking with the people, we are identifying the different sounds from the different people. What is sound? In this chapter, we are studying about what is sound, production of sound, where sound is producing, how the sound is propagating, what is reflection of sound, what is the range of hearing sound, what are all the applications of ultrasound, and the structure of human ear. Now, what is sound? Generally, if we ask the students, they'll say it's a form of energy. Is it a form of energy? Can we produce the sound without utilizing your energy? Which form of energy did you use to produce sound? Sound is a form of energy, of course, which produces sensation of hearing in our ears. So, other way we can say, Sound is an audible phenomena. We can able to hear with help of ear. That is audible phenomena. Now we can see in our lab, take a tuning fork and you made a set of uh, thread and hang by the metal ball. Now, once vibrate the tuning fork, with help of a pad, we can able to listen a small vibration. Once you touch the prong of the tuning fork, we can feel something vibration. Yes, the same tuning fork placed near to a small a tennis ball which is hanging in this picture. So, now we observed the tennis ball is oscillating to and fro. Clear? From this, we can conclude that the vibrating tuning fork strikes the ball and produces motion. A similar thing might be happen in production of sound, we will see. Now, take a glass of water and take a tuning fork. Hit the tuning fork. Place it like a first figure. We can observe all the water waves are sideways which is going. Yes, and the second case, ripples produces move the sideways and the first case, ripples produces which moves up and downs like a waves. Yes, now this is because of direction in which sound travels. In the above activities, we have produced a sound by striking the tuning fork. We can also produce a sound by plucking, scratching rubbing, blowing or shaking different objects. The last two activities we set the objects vibrating and produced sound. Vibration means a kind of rapid to and fro motion of an object. How to define vibration? There is a question now. To and fro motion of an object called vibration. The sound of human voice is produced due to vibration in the vocal cord. Yes, when birds flaps its wings, we can hear small sound. So how to propagate the sound? Now, you know, we have a list of musical instruments. There is a drums. Once you strike with the sticks, the membrane of the drums are vibrating. 
so which is producing sound waves in a guitar once you stretch the string or when we pluck the string we are observing the sound waves from guitar now you know that sound travels through medium is it medium is it required you will observe in generally in our classroom say your friend to lay on lay on bench the ear should touch to the bench the another end of the bench once you tap it gently he can able to listen your tapping sound now when we are hitting when we are hitting on the table another end the vibrations are propagated and he can able to listen now take a beaker very big beaker like in the second diagram and bell you ring a bell inside of the water the top layer of the water put your ear gently then we can observe the bell ringings the sound can produce through the water molecules up to your ear that is the reason we understood liquids also liquid also the medium to propagate the sound wave so the medium may be the solids liquids or gases generally while oral explanation gases means air molecules also the part of medium to transmit the sound waves now when an object vibrates it sets the particles of the medium around it vibrating the particles do not travel all the way from the vibrating object to here a particles that medium in contact with the vibrating object is first displaced from its equilibrium position it then exerts a force on the adjacent particles as a result of which the adjacent particles gets displaced from its po position of rest after displacing the adjacent particles in the first particle comes back to its original position in this process continues the medium till the sound reaches to your ear i'll explain in another way take a water beaker fully water beaker filled with a water now tap a piece of paper and put it on the water surface now gently drop the stone what we are observing ripples we are observing inside in the beaker inside of the beaker now the water waves are up and downs you can observe a piece of paper still coming up and downs which is not going towards to the beaker walls which is vibrating up and down which means the molecules of water is getting energy from the stone the energy is transmitting from one place to the another place but not water molecules if water molecules are moves absolutely piece of paper also will be moves forward clear so this is the way the sound will be vibrate why is sound why is the sound called a wave because sound travels exactly the way wave travels in a medium sound waves are characterized by the motion of particles in the medium and are called mechanical wave sound waves are mechanical waves if you clap sound will be produced if you hit a bench sound will be produced engines once piston moves up and down it's a mechanical force engine sound we are observing and flight is going so flight blades are vibrating the air molecules yes the molecules are receiving energy from the blades and which is giving to us so these are all the mechanical waves sound waves are mechanical waves sound in the form of compressions and rarefactions now i'll show you what is compression and rarefaction in this slinky this is called as a slinky yes you can observe you can observe there is a compressions and refractions here can you able to see yes there is a compressions and refractions as well as in our presentation 
there is a sound vibrations we are observing some parts are density more some parts are densities less so this is the way the sound waves will be produced clear so this is the way clear next how does a sound travel from one place to another place how does sound produced by an object reaches to our ear sound is a mechanical wave it needs material medium like air water or any steel etc for its propagation it cannot travel through vacuum let's see it's a bell jar experiment in this bell jar experiment uh, take any one of glass jar cut the top end put it as a rubber cork and through the rubber cork place an electric bell inside so the down of the glass jar place the vacuum pump now connect this electrical bell to the power supply switch on we are observing bell ringings now collect entire the air from the glass jar with help of vacuum pump collect entire the air and notch it now we are not observing any sound any sound from the bell jar so this reflects sound needs medium to travel now explain how sound is produced by your school bell now the answer is when the bell vibrates it pushes adjacent air particles to vibrate this creates a series of compressions and rarefactions this makes sound to propagate through air now why are sound waves are called mechanical waves answer sound waves force medium particles to vibrate some mechanical some mechanical work is done in this process so sound waves are called as mechanical waves next question now what is compressions and what is rarefactions we can observe now air is the most common medium through which sound travels when a vibrating object moves forward it pushes compressions in the air in front of its creating the region of high pressure there is a high density yes there is high density let's call it as a compression when vibrating object moves backwards it creates a region of low pressure called rarefaction each and every mechanical waves having compressions and rarefactions now suppose you and your friend are on the moon will you able to hear any sound produced by your friend sound needs medium to travel since moon has no atmosphere propagation of sound is not possible they can't listen each other next sound waves are longitudinal waves yes just now we observed a longitudinal waves which is in slinky with form of compressions and rarefactions clear type of compressions and rarefactions the density is very high that is compression where the density is very less that is rarefaction clear now with one would observe the continuous disturbance is produced with the sharp pushes now the types of waves waves are two types one is longitudinal wave other one is transverse wave in longitudinal wave longitudinal waves are mechanical waves transverse waves are light waves where we are observing light i'll explain how medium particles oscillates in the direction of parallel to the propagation of light generally while the sound waves propagating which is under compressions and rarefactions compressions and rarefactions while coming to transverse waves which is perpendicular to the mean position yes it will be oscillate perpendicular now 
which is propagating along to the axis that is longitudinal wave which is perpendicular to the axis that is transverse waves characteristics of a sound wave we can describe the sound wave by its frequency amplitude and speed yes now frequency how frequency an event occurs for example suppose you are beating a drum how many times you are beating the drum per unit time that is called as a frequency of your beating of the drum yes the number of in one minute of time or one unit of time how many times you are beating that is called as a frequency okay we know that when sound is propagated through a medium the density of the medium oscillates between maximum and minimum values the change in the density from maximum value to the minimum value again the maximum value makes one complete oscillation the number of such oscillations per unit time is the frequency of the sound wave yes now frequency n is equal to or f is equal to 1 by t or n by t number of oscillations in unit time called as a frequency next time period time period means time taken by two consecutive compressions or rare fractions is called as a time period okay it represented by uh, symbol t as a units of time as you know seconds now the frequency f is equal to 1 by t if it is oscillation 1 if it is a number of oscillations n by t next pitch a violin and a flute may both be, be played at the same time in the orchestra both sounds travel through the same medium that is air and error to air and error to our ear at the same time but sound travels at the same speed irrespective of the source but the sound we receive are different you know this in a orchestra drums flute and gazelles at a time we are observing different kinds of sounds at a time we are observing why this happens due to what is known as pitch yes how the brain interprets the frequency of an emitted source is called as the pitch the faster the vibration of the source the higher is the frequency and the higher is the pitch as shown here now does the pitch sound corresponds to more number of compressions and rarefactions passing a fixed point per unit time yes so this is one type of pitch which is a long length this is a short length one wave sharp and a high pitch of the sound yes thank you so much and we will continue in that next classes thank you